A couple of weeks ago, I published my review of the Ender 5 3D printer. In that review, I talked about not being able to tension the belts correctly. Well, thanks to a viewer, I took another look at it and I think I figured it out. Let's take a look here on Curzy Fabrications. Let's go. Before I begin, I'd like to take a moment to give a shout out to Gary from Facebook, who is a viewer of this channel, who pointed out to me that in the manual, it does mention tensioning the belts. While the manual wasn't clear about exactly how to do that, I went and took that as an opportunity to take a second look and see if I could figure it out. Let's get up close with the printer and see how it's done. So here we are at the 3D printer. We're gonna first start by taking a look at the Y axis. The Y axis has two belts, one on this side, one on this side. They are each held on by these brackets. So while there's not a standalone mechanism for tensioning these belts, you actually can just move these brackets in and out just by applying a pulling force and then screwing them down at the tension we'd like them. This isn't an ideal tensioning mechanism because it doesn't allow a lot of granularity, but it does work. So let's take a look at how it's done. Let's take a look at this side of the printer. So you're gonna need two of the tools that came with the printer, two different size Allen wrenches. The smaller one goes to these two, the larger one goes to the bottom one. As you can see with my original belt here, it is a little looser than what I'd want it to be. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna loosen these. I'm also gonna loosen the bottom one. Now you can see this is free to move. So again, there's not really a mechanism that's going to allow me to pull this other than just tightening it with my own strength. Now when I attach this back, I'm going to first attach the top two. And I wanna make sure that this belt, when it comes through here, is as level with the top of this as possible. We don't want it rubbing against the extrusion. So let's come in here. While, while holding it tight, I'm going to start tightening these top ones. And again, I wanna make sure that I keep the belt high. Okay, you see the belt is not touching the extrusion. Now I can come back to this bottom one and tighten that one up. So, let's take a look. This should be tighter than what I started with. If you're still not happy with it, just perform the same steps again until you've gotten about where you want it. So the other side's performed exactly the same way. Now let's take a look at the X axis to see how it's done. So here we are at the X axis. On the X axis, there are two screws that attach to the extrusion much like on the Y axis. As you'll see, we'll just need the smaller Allen wrench to perform this one. So on my printer, I found the X axis was actually tensioned fairly well. I'm not gonna need a whole lot of extra on this one, but I'm still gonna demonstrate how it's done. We're gonna loosen these two screws here. And much like on the Y axis, that loosens this up to be moved around. You don't really have to worry about this coming off at this point because the belt's holding it on. So much like on the Y axis, you have to hold this with your own strength, pull as hard as you can, center it, using your fingers and then you can tighten either one of these first then just make sure that you're square and then you can tighten the other one so that's it again if you're not happy with how you did it the first time then loosen it up again perform the same steps until you're happy with the way it's tensioned so once you're done with those couple of steps, your belt should be better tensioned than the way they arrived from the factory. Thanks for joining me today. If you enjoyed this video, please like it down below. Please comment, please share it, and please subscribe if you haven't already done that. Hit the little bell if you'd like to see new videos as I post them. And again, thanks for joining me here on Curzy Fabrications. Bye everybody.